<laughs> what do you see? What do you think? Hmm? Yeah, you're a pretty cute little guy. Welcome to day four of the My Wool Mitten podcast November vlog. 12 days to Thanksgiving. I thought it was about time we had some sheep on the podcast. And I would have sat down here to have bucket talk with you guys, but I've broken my tripod. It was just a little cheap one, like a $10 one, but it's lasted for a year. But so I don't have anything to set the camera up on. So you probably aren't going to see my face today, but I thought I would feature um, a little guy here. This is Quigley, who's showing us his backside now. And I don't know if you remember him. He was one of the triplets from Sushi, the Finn Sheep, and Petoskey, the Corridale Ram. He was the only ram lamb, and he was the smallest one. He was the third one born, the smallest one. And I'll pan over here in just a minute. But he's not really side by side, so I'm not sure you're going to be able to tell the difference. Sushi's lambs have been smaller than everybody else in general. They also were born almost a month later, but he especially is very small and probably weighs about 25 pounds. And we nearly lost him once. He was out with his sisters and his mother and everybody else was doing fine. And he was out with them, but you know, you just could see that he wasn't quite thriving. So I had to bring him in once and look, they love the stray leaves that are in the hay. So he got fed separately, uh, doctored a little bit, you know, some little extra energy, checked for worms, you know, that kind of thing. I wish he was fine. And he bounced back and went back out. But um, I don't know. My idea was that he would go to market. He's not anything we'd use for a breeding ram. And I don't normally keep fiber pets. Uh, but it was time to go to market. He's so small and I just didn't, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was fair to him. Wouldn't have brought much money anyway. And as would be the case, he has got the most divine fleece. So the reason he's in this little pen by himself is because for us, even though he's small, he knows he has boy parts. And so he is in here next to the sheep. They can go indoors and outdoors. He can't, but he's due to be weathered this weekend, which means castrated. So he won't be able to sire any lambs. Is he not the most adorable thing? He actually looks to me more like a Shetland sheep. But he's also got to calm down a little bit. For all that he's been being fed separately, and I'm in there with him a lot, he is wild as a jay. And he's also obnoxious. So if that's just hormones and weathering doesn't help, He'll be here till shearing time and we'll get his fleece and then he should be big enough to go to market or go in the freezer. We'll see. But that's what I thought I'd show you today. Now I'm going to stand up here. I'll even pause so it's not too herky jerky. Just a minute. Now here are the ewe lambs on the left here. That's one of his sisters. That's another Finn and Coradale. And she just squeezed into the other sister. The white one here is Finn Border Lester from Ninja. Francie, you remember my Francie who lost her lamb. Um, she is the babysitter and nursemaid to help show these girls that they can be tame. And that's the other one of Ninja's quads that we kept. Now you might remember I had planned to keep all four of the quad girls. The white Border Lester Finn Cross U lambs. Oh, I think that would have been so much fun to raise them up. Excuse the sparrows hollering in the background. But then you might also remember from one of my little videos, the one who was in the fence, there actually were two of them that were always in the fence, and they just weren't tame. They were obnoxious. So they went to pay for the water heater, and I've kept these two. But even with a few weeks difference, look at the difference in size between the Border Lester and Finn and the Corridale and Finn crosses. 
Francie, are you pushing them girls around? Let's see if I can do this without sticking my finger in the way. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, look at you. Now, these guys can run in and out, but I do, I shut them in at night. Do you want a pet? Hmm? And they're in here to get used to being handled and be able to get a little extra feed. I can, I think you can see some of these curls. We need to have coats put on pretty soon. And then the um, Corridal and Finn have just beautiful fleece. Quigley, what do you think, buddy? See, he's getting a little better. I'd love to show you his fleece, but look at his little pot belly. That comes from being sick when he was two. I'm hoping he'll grow some. So there's some bucket talk and update. Remember the farmer's best friend, finder twine. Francie, are you going to say hello? Just looking to see if they missed any greens. Update on the water issue on the barn floor. The concrete and gravel mix that we brought in seems to be holding pretty well. I am keeping the livestock off of it. Really let it get a chance to settle in. We only have a little bit of snow left. It's probably not even showing. Kyle's out here getting his nibblies. He's 18, almost 19 years old, so he does get a little bit of extra. Don't you, bud? And last of all, I mentioned that on the first day of deer season, the rams would be going in with the ewes. There's Petoskey squeezing his way in there on the far side, right there. He is in with the ewes. And everyone is, I've actually seen everyone be bred. So now we'll just watch to see if they get bred a second time. And these guys just getting a little bit of hay. There's still quite a lot of grass that they can dig on out there. There's Ninja. Toski. He's wondering when the second course comes. Right, bud? So all that's left, oh look at all the binder twine. So all that's left now is to fill water and to open the gate so these guys can go outside. <laughs> You're cute. So there's a little sheep talk for today. I thought you guys might have been missing seeing these guys. Do you want to say goodbye quickly? Hey, Quig. <laughs>